getting started though, I want to talk a little bit about something called the risk premium, and basically the idea is a very simple one. If you can get 2.55% is what you can get on a GIC from Tangerine right now, and any other investment is going to uh, make you less money than that and impose risk upon you, it doesn't make sense for you to buy it, okay, that other investment. That's the idea of the risk premium in a nutshell. That's something I want you to keep in mind as we're going through city by city and doing an analysis of each real estate market in this country. Moving on to very friendly Edmonton, Alberta. The average price for a single family dwelling in Edmonton is uh, right now $368,597 as of August 2014. For a one bedroom apartment, you're gonna be charged on average $1,071. And for a two to three bedroom apartment in Edmonton, you're gonna be charged on average $1,260. So not much more actually. On the uh, rental yield side, so from the perspective of an, a real estate investor, on the low end, their yields are around 3.5%, which is not terrible. And um, on the high end, their yields are about 4%. So pretty tight yield spread between the low and the high. The high end real estate investor uh, beats the GIC by a little over 1.5% a year. And they outperform the dividend yield on the Royal Bank right now, September 16th, 2014, by about 50 basis points or half a percent. Um, and on the low end, of course, it's not as good. They beat the low end real estate investors in Edmonton beat the GIC by about 96 basis points and the underperform actually the Royal Bank dividend yield by 10 basis points. And so again, you want to ask yourself if you're investing in real estate in Edmonton, Alberta, and with all the risks associated with that, are you getting adequately compensated relative to what else you could do with your money if you could buy a GIC? sit back, put your feet up, and just collect cash flow from that, or if you could buy shares of Royal Bank and sit back and four times a year collect dividends from that, uh, is that not better than owning your uh, rental property or properties in Edmonton, Alberta? I ask you, that's the situation we find ourselves in in the fall of 2014 when interest rates are starting to rise.